So if you think about ABCs, A stands for antecedent, B for behavior, and C for consequences. When we're talking about antecedents, you, you may already know this, those are things that happen before the child's behavior occurs. So we often think of them as triggers or cues or something that sets your child off. Some of the things that can be included in this broad view of an antecedent have a lot to do with kind of the mood or the internal state of your son or daughter. So you have things that kind of set the stage with their internal state, and then you have those more immediate triggers. So think about when your child is hungry, when they haven't had their nap, if they haven't slept well the night before, um, if the, your child is sick, if they're coming down with something. If you make a certain demand, uh, and it's something that they do not want to do that signals to them maybe they have to stop doing something fun. All those kinds of things can trigger a misbehavior. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> they kind of set the child up, and then there's usually one thing that triggers it. But in the broader sense, you have kind of setting events that act as a, um, it, they set the stage for the child's behavior. And then you have the immediate triggers that sometimes you can identify, and sometimes those triggers aren't as important as the setting event. It doesn't really matter what you say or do for your child who hasn't had a nap. You know, you can ask them to eat their favorite ice cream or treat, and it'll start a meltdown, simply because the stage is set for them to have problem behaviors.